everyone and welcome back. My name is Pandora and welcome back to Dear Mona. And the last one, Stacy was going to tell everybody that my girl is pregnant and ruin her reputation. So we are on to chapter 17, The Ultimatum. I couldn't blame Stacy. She only wanted to protect her brother. Something I wish I'd had done. I had so many things to apologize for, and I knew I had to talk to Sean face to face, even though my emotions were all over the place. I had to tell him I was going to keep the baby before Stacy did. There's Sean. I hate to tell him about Stacy, but he needs to know. Pandora, what are you doing here? Hey, Sean, it's your sister. She confronted me at school today. She overheard something private. Oh no. Is everything okay? Everything's fine. It's just, Sean, I decided to keep the baby. Keep the baby? I know that's a lot to take in, but I'm not changing my mind. I understand if... Wow. That's wonderful. Wonderful? Hell yeah. It took me a while to get used to the idea, but I'm all in. But, I know, the baby might not be mine, but if it is, I'm all in. Thank you. It's such a relief to hear you say that. Yeah, well, I've been doing some additional thinking. I meant what I said. I'm here for you if you need me. And that being said, I made another decision. I can't believe I'm saying this, but despite how I feel about you, I don't want to take our relationship further. I'd like to be friends. Be spiteful, that's all I can do. In that case, the baby is probably better off with Mark as a father. <laughs> that way, there's still hope that he and she will have a real family. Wow, that's low. What's low is you treating me like, like you don't care about me, but only about this baby I'm carrying. I'm not the one who messed up, messed this up, Pandora, and I'm really taking the best, trying my best to be understandable about the whole situation, but this isn't helping. No, it's not. I don't want to fight. I'm sure you'll understand me later when you calm down. And now, I have to get back to work. But we can't be just friends, Sean. My conversation with Sean wasn't easy. I wondered what to, th what to think or hope for. Was he really done with me? You... You didn't tell him about the prenatal productions? Not yet. I want to do some reading on it myself first. All I know is is, is it's investing. Yikes. After I learn more, I'll let Sean, Mark and Sean know. Sounds like a plan. How are you feeling about Sean? Rejection really stinks. I'm bummed. Pretty down. I really liked Sean. And the baby, that matters most now. But we had a good thing going until Mark came back. Speaking of Mark coming back, will he ever get the truth about it? that? Why did he leave without saying a word? I don't know, but I plan to find out. I couldn't wait to talk to Mark. He needed to know about my plans, and I needed to know about his past. Would I finally find out what happened? Thanks for meeting with me so late. Of course. I have so much on, I want to get off my chest. Let me go first. Mark, I'm keeping the baby. I understand if... I was hoping you'd say that. Really? Yes. You're the only girl I've ever wanted, Pandora. And while this may have happened sooner than I would have liked, 
I wouldn't mind starting a family with you. I don't know what to say. This is all happening so fast. What if the baby isn't mine? I've thought about that too. And we'll cross that road when we get there. Okay, but Mark, we need to talk about what happened. I'm tired of putting it off. I want to know the truth. The truth about why I left? Yes. There's just so much you don't understand. I'm tired of hearing that too. Make me understand. Okay, we can talk about it. Just not tonight. But let me take you somewhere special. A weekend just for us. I can explain everything then. Mmm, sure. Okay, I'll check with my mom, but I'm pretty sure it's a go. Good enough for me. Why are you looking at me like that? You're just so beautiful. You've always have been, but it's like you're glowing. The saying must be true. Mark just called me beautiful. What do I say? I'll say thank you. Thanks, Mark. That means a lot when I haven't been feeling myself these days. I'm only speaking the truth. I still can't believe you're back in my life. I'm so grateful, and I don't want to do another second without kissing you. Can I? Like I was supposed to that day before high school? Mmm, sure. I, yes, make me forget everything else. Make me feel like the girl I was then. <laughs> Talking to Sean and Mark was emotionally exhausting. Maybe it was my hormones acting up, but more likely it was just because of how things were. And they were about to become much worse. Ugh, I don't want to go to school. Who knows what damage Stacy has done. How's my baby and her baby? Stressed. I really don't want everyone at school knowing I'm pregnant. Why not? I told you, what everyone else thinks doesn't matter. I know, but... It's hard. Well, why don't we go get bre go out to breakfast? Play a little hooky. To a little shopping. A little new outfit will cheer you up. And we can have a nice conversation. I don't know. Come on. I'll have you back before lunch. Mm, go with mom. Okay. N but no maternity dresses. Let's see what this store has to offer. That one. Ooh, that one's pretty. That's cute. That's cute. Cute. I like the black. The black dress. What a beautiful outfit. <coughs> Honey, you're gorgeous. You're glowing. Mark said I was glowing too. Did he now? How are things with Mark and Sean? Confusing. The good thing is both both want to be in the baby's life. If it's theirs, that is. I see. Well, that's positive news. But tre tread carefully with your heart, Pandora. Well, everyone's emotions are really high right now. My heart is with my baby. Other than that, I'm really confused. I've been thinking about who I'd rather be with. I don't know. I'm going for Mark. Because Sean's being a butt. Mark really wants to be with me. And I'm liking the idea more and more. But our past still holds an obstacle we must overcome. You'll figure it out. You're a smart girl. And I'll always be here for to give you advice. Thanks, Mom. 
Now, let's go get some waffles before I take you back. I've been craving some chocolate chips. Sounds good. I could use a little chocolate before being thrown to the wolves. Well, that will be it. Sticks and stones. Stacy tells everyone about your situ situation. Does Sean defend you? Defend her or you? We will find that out in the next video. Hopefully y'all are enjoying this series because I am. It is getting juicy. But I will see you in the next video. If you want to, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Hit that bell icon because I upload twice a day. And I will see you lovelies in the next video. Bye guys.